everybody, lahat. Welcome to Pinoy Crossover, the basketball show for the Filipino community. Your boy PJ, <laughs> rocking the Kentucky Fried Chicken. Marky Mark yeah. with the scar- Kentucky Fried. There's a this is no, Kentucky. I want some chicken oh, right now. I'm Thanks. hungry now. Made me hungry. <laughs> Thanks. Marky Mark with a scarf. And we got Jair right here. Man, it's great. How was All Star Weekend for you guys? Well, it was great. Um, I get to watch the celebrity game yeah. and the rookie sophomore game. I, I missed the dunk contest, but then oh. the All Star game, you know, it lived up to what people. You know, almost what they wanted to get out of the All Star Weekend, so it was great to see. Right. Yeah. What was the most notable thing throughout the All Star Weekend for each of you guys? Like, like mm-hmm. overall, it was really great. Mm-hmm. I think what st- stood out was the All Star Game itself, mm-hmm. just because it was a brand new format about those playground style Team LeBron, Team Steph, and it got competitive. Mm-hmm. It really got competitive from the jump, first quarter all the way to the fourth quarter when they locked down Steph Curry for that final shot, and it, it was just it was just very fun to see that. These guys are competing mm-hmm. to a level that, obviously, they're, they're trying. They don't want to try to get injured, right? Mm. But they are competing. They're actually playing defense. There's a lot of blocks. Joel Embiid make, knocks down the three, mm-hmm. goes back, and then Russell Westbrook tries to sneak in and dunk. But Joel Embiid actually uh, blocks his uh, layup in as well. Mm-hmm. So you can see one of those competitiveness between the players and you know Team LeBron. Congrats to them and LeBron James, another MVP, All Star MVP. Is that kind of a foreshadowing? Curry can't oh. close and win. It wasn't, well, <laughs> it's not, it can't it's close. It's hard to shoot when you have Durant That's and LeBron true. right <laughs> at you. Yeah. And uh, they, made made sure, <laughs> they made sure that yeah. it's, Durant's a pretty good defender. Yeah. LeBron is pretty long. It's, yeah, it, it's true. He tried to get it, the shot up, but then <laughs> how do you do it when Durant is almost seven feet with like a wingspan yeah. so far? And he was trapped. Like, DeMar yeah. was there. He tried to have it to DeMar. If, you, if, <laughs> De, if DeMar made that shot, I'm done. Toronto, like, let's yeah, go. If you want to be so technical, about yeah, it. Yeah. Like, they weren't moving around yeah. when Stephen Curry yeah. was holding down the ball, trying to dribble out between yeah. the trap. between. Yeah. And James Durant. Harden stayed all the way back. Yeah. Like, what kind of... What are you trying to do? DeMar DeRozan missed clutch free throws. Yeah! And yeah don't. Okay, let's, no, no, let's not talk about it. Okay, no, but there's one thing yeah. that I, 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 I was really mad about about DeMar DeRozan passing up the ball a lot when he mm. could have taken over that one game in mm. his hometown. There was one... one when, when, when he drove in the uh, in the lane and he passed out to Giannis and yeah. he turned it over, yeah. I was like, I thought yeah. he was make take the that. layup. This yeah. is this is your time to shine. Yeah. I, I, I don't want to. I, I know you don't want to be so selfish, but be selfish. Like mm-hmm. you, you want to get. Be selfish. I feel like I feel like if I feel like if Team Steph won that yeah. game, I think Demar Derozan would have been a, a strong yeah, candidate for MVP, mm-hmm. and that would have been really nice in his hometown, especially with his father watching as well in mm-hmm. the Staples Arena, the Staples Center. So yeah. let's go back in time. No, no, no. no. Okay, no. Mark, Mark, what, what is your most mm. notable moment? You said the dunk competition, but what stood up stood out to uh, you? I mean, like the dunk contest wasn't so as good as what it, you know. The thing is, see, you can never expect the dunk contest to always be good every single year. Mm. Yeah. You, it's just like, an, you know, everyone thinks, oh, the dunk contest is back again. You can't just, you know, assume it's always going to be good because it always depends on... Uh, what I wanted to see more from a dunk contest is personality. I think mm-hmm. they should always bring people that have personality, not just the ability to just dunk. Because if you don't have personality, no matter how good you dunk it, it's not going to sell. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, uh, like players like, um, uh, I mean, Zach Levine, you know, was able to do it just because he's just a great yeah, dunker. Electri- like extra but, yeah, you know, a, a personality that just gets everyone hyped, like Nate Robinson back then. Or Dwight Howard, oh, Vince, Dwight Howard, amazing. Right? Vince Carter, like you know, those kind of players that just you know, that has it makes things fun because you know, dunk contest is not just about skill because we've seen most of the dunks we've always seen already. Yeah. Like you can only get creative, but if you were able to just be fun and like be entertaining, I think that would be like you know, a pretty good thing to do for the for the the dunk contest. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's, it's it's just so hard to be a, a, have a cr- new creative dunk just yeah. because you feel like every, all the dunks that happened in the past dunk classes are already happened, right? I've been done. Yeah. Not just that, but in social media, everyone's been, a yeah. lot of players just do dunks for like a living, like, you know. Yeah. yeah. But, but the thing is, we want to see actual NBA players yeah. execute, execute that in a real, in, mm. in an actual NBA setting, right? Mm. We want to see actual NBA, NBA players to, um, to, you know, imitate those dunk contests, I mean, those dunks by a, a professional dunker. Mm. But it, it just it's just hard to live up from I think one of the best dunk contests of our lifetime so far, mm-hmm. uh, one of them is the Zach Levine and Eric Gordon in Toronto, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Uh, you could say, yeah, Dwight Howard, Nate Robinson was good. Vince Carter, Tracy McGrady was good as well. Jason Richardson was good. But just the, just the recent one, you can, there's no way. There's, it's so hard to live up or come past 
with Zach Levine, Aaron, Aaron Gordon. It's just yeah. so hard to do. It has that. to suck for a couple of years, and then we're gonna forget about, you know, forget oh, we about. We get a rematch it. again. We have to just forget. Okay, yeah, Gordon. we have to just. If there's a rematch. It just has to right, suck for a couple be. years. It just has to suck for a couple yeah. of years to make us forget about the Zach Levine, Aaron Gordon, and then. Yeah. We gotta hype it up again with a couple of good performances again from different, maybe different players, maybe the same. Yeah. But I like how you put it, like, we wanna see a real NBA player do those dunks. Yeah. Because it's all about that personality. It's all mm -hmm. about seeing NBA players be excited about an NBA yeah. player dunking. That they're not just in a more way. about basketball, they Absolutely. also can do, like, you yeah. know, some entertaining and, like, uh, some freestyle kind of yeah. performance. Because yeah. like, with like the dunking and like all these crazy, like that's crazy dunks. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What I enjoyed most was the three point competition. I thought Clay Thompson would take it hands down, but guess who came on that block and shot it? Devin Booker. Dev man. Does he have a nickname? Does Devin Booker have a nickname? No. How about oh. Devin Booker? Devin the record booker. <laughs> That's good. The Devin record booker. Because he. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's good. He got like a record. I didn't know it. Woo! No, well, because he, he, he broke the record. He, he did. 28 points in a three point contest. You know, that's and he broke really good. Know, sec the youngest to ever score a. Seven. You should tweet that. Yeah. Devin, the record booker. Well, I, don't think booker. I, I don't think I have much followers. Follow me on Twitter. <laughs>